Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a new unit in math. We are going to be starting a unit in geometry on triangles. We're going to be learning about the different properties of triangles, the different types of triangles, angles within a triangle. And before we do that though, we need to go back and we need to review some of the just basic angle properties that we learned earlier this year. If you'll remember, we did a unit on geometry, maybe right before Christmas, I believe, it would have been book A, where we learned about um, the properties of angles on a line, or different lines and intersecting lines, and we used those properties to find unknown angles. Well, I'm going to review that today, because we'll be using those properties again in relation to triangles as we move on in this unit. So I have a couple of um, figures drawn on the board here, and I want to go over um, these properties to help you remember. So in this figure we have a straight line AB intersecting crossing with a straight line CD and as a result we have four angles that have been formed. We have angle A, angle B, angle D, and angle C. And so um, let's review what we know about these angles. Well the first thing that you should remember is that whenever you have a straight line the angles that are within or on that to make up that straight line all equal up to 180 degrees. So if you take the straight line AB, angle A and angle B together, their, their sum, their total would be 180 degrees. Also along straight line AB, we have angle C and angle D. Those two angles would add up to 180 degrees. Similarly, if you take the straight line CD, angle D and angle B are two angles on that straight line, so the total of those would be 180 degrees. And then the angles on the other side of the straight line would also be, um, would, the sum of those would also be 180 degrees. So um, angle C and angle A along the straight line CD would be 180 degrees. So that was the first angle property that we learned, hopefully you remember. Secondly, we learned that all of the angles at a point all add up to 360 degrees. So what that means is that all four of these angles are all around a point. We have angle A, angle B, angle D, and angle C, and those all add up to be 360 degrees in total. So that was the second angle property um, that we learned. The next angle property that I hope you remember is that anytime you have two straight lines that cross, the angles that are vertically opposite from one another are equal. So if I have CD, which is a straight line, crossing with AB, which is another straight line, then that means that, for example, angles A and D are vertically opposite from one another, so angle A is equal to angle D. Similarly, Angles C and B are vertically opposite from one another, so those angles are equal as well. So whatever C measures, B would measure. Whatever D measures, A would measure. So that's the third angle property that we learned. Moving over to this figure, you'll see, hopefully this looks familiar, you have um, two angles here, and notice that the, the total overall angle has a little square in the corner, which means that it is a right angle. And we know that right angles are equal to 90 degrees. And the fourth angle property then states that the sum of the angles within a right angle are equal to 90 degrees. So if this whole angle is 90 degrees, then the two smaller angles inside that would be um, the total, the sum of those angles would be 90 degrees. So it's important to remember these angle properties and it's important for us to take some time today and practice these using these properties to find unknown angles before we move on. So I'd like for you to take your textbook and we're going to go through a couple of the review problems together in this lesson. So if you can get like a whiteboard or a piece of paper, um, work through these with me and we'll practice this and then of course your homework tonight will be just more practicing of finding unknown angles using these angle properties. And then tomorrow we'll move on to triangles and apply this to triangles. Okay, so we're going to do some angle property review problems. So turn to page 24 in your textbook and we're going to be doing 
number 24, A and B. And I have drawn these up on my whiteboard here, and I'd like for you to work these with me as you watch the video. Use a sheet of paper or a dry erase board, but let's work through these together. So 24A says, in each of the following figures not drawn to scale, find angle X. Okay, so for problem A, you are given the information that ABC is a straight line and you are asked to find unknown angle X. So now we need to think about our angle properties and we have to use what we know to find out what we don't know. So if we know that ABC is a straight line, we know that all of the angles along a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So the whole is the straight line, 180 degrees that make up the straight line, and then you'll notice it's broken up into three parts. There's this angle, which you can tell is a 90 degree angle because of the little square in the corner. So that, that's a piece of information that we're indirectly given. And this X, of course, is the unknown angle, and then we know that the final part that makes up this whole set of angles on a straight line is 37 degrees. So here we have two parts and a whole, so we can use those to find out the other part, which is the unknown. Now when you're solving these problems, please make sure that you write out your steps top to bottom, left to right. Hopefully you remember that from earlier this year when we did this unit on geometry. So how would I find X? Well, let's use order of operations. And let's start with saying, okay, first of all, we know all of these angles equal 180 degrees. So I can take that whole and I can subtract the, the sum of these two parts from the whole to get that third unknown part. So I'm going to subtract 90 degrees plus 37 degrees from 180. Okay, so we know in order of operations, we always do what's in the parentheses first. So that's going to give us 180 degrees minus 127 degrees. And when you perform that calculation, you should find that your answer is 53 degrees for the unknown angle. So angle X is equal to 53 degrees. Now sometimes there are different ways to arrive at the right answer. Hopefully you remember that. Another way you could have solved that problem is, well again, you know that half of 180 degree angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, these two angles must also equal 90 degrees. So you could have an alternate way to solve this, I'll just say or, you could have said um, angle X is equal to 90, excuse me, 90 degrees minus 37 degrees because these two have to add up to 90 degrees because the other angle is 90 degrees and the sum of all of those must be 180. So there's just kind of a faster, um, more direct way to get your unknown angle, but either way works. Okay, so moving on to 24B. In this problem, you have one, two, three, four angles around a point. And the angle property that we would use to solve for the unknown angle X here is that all of the angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So let's see what we're given because we're going to use what we know to find out what we don't know. So we're given that this angle is 47 degrees. This one is 105 degrees. This one, of course, is what we're trying to find. And then we have this other last angle. We're not given outright the measurement of this angle, but the little square in the corner tells us that it is equal to, it's a right angle, so it's equal to 90 degrees. So now we have all, um, we have three angles out of the four. So we know that we can add those all, those parts together and subtract them from the whole of 360 degrees to find the unknown angle X. So let's do that. We're gonna use order of operations so we'll start with the whole, 360 degrees, and we're going to subtract the sum total of the three angles that we know. So we can put the sum of those in parentheses. So we're going to subtract um, 90 degrees plus 105 degrees 
plus 47 degrees. So let's take it one step at a time. We know we do what's inside the parentheses first. We'll add the first two numbers, and that'll give us 360 degrees minus 195 degrees plus 47 degrees. Okay, and then we do the next step. We add 195 plus 47, and you should get 360 degrees minus 242 degrees. That's the total of those three angles. And then when you subtract 242 from 360, you'll get 118 degrees for angle X. And then you want to ask yourself, is this a reasonable answer? Yes, you can tell that that is um, an obtuse angle. It's greater than 90 degrees, so 118 degrees is a reasonable answer. Okay, so now let's try two more um, problems. So turn in your textbook to page 56. There are two problems, again, using unknown angle properties. Numbers, number 22A and B. If you can pause the video and go ahead and work through these problems, make sure that you show your work just like I did here with you, and then um, I'll go over that with you. So pause the video and go ahead and find unknown angles for 22 A and B on page 56. Okay, here's the answer to 22 A. This one was pretty straightforward. It was the same angle property the sum of all the angles around a point is 360 degrees. So when you add up 90 and 240 degrees, you get 330 degrees and subtract that from 360 the whole, you'll get that this unknown angle is 30 degrees. Now, 22B is a little bit trickier, so I wanted to go over that one with you. Always pay attention to the information that you're given. If they tell you anything about whether certain lines are straight lines, this is important. So it says here for 22B, that AOB and COD are straight lines. So this line here and this line here are straight lines. And we know that one of our angle properties tells us that vertically opposite angles are equal. So if these two lines um, are straight lines and they cross, we know that this angle is going to be equal to that angle. This angle is 110 degrees. The vertically opposite angle has been broken up into two parts. It's been broken up into this unknown small angle x, and then this angle, which is not directly uh, given to us, but we see that that little square means that it is a 90 degree angle. So, in order to find this angle, again, the sum of these would be equal to 110 because it's vertically opposite of this angle. So all you have to do is just subtract 90 from 110 there and that will give you the unknown angle X because the addition of these two angles should be equal to 110 degrees. So that one's pretty straightforward. Um, angle X is going to be equal to 110 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is 20 degrees. So hopefully you can see that the sum of those angles would be vertically opposite from that 110 degree angle. So those are some review problems for angle properties. And as I said earlier, we need to work through some of these since it's been quite a few months before we move on to unknown triangle angles. So for homework, I have scanned in to RenWeb a practice sheet where you're doing problems very similar to this. You're just reviewing angle properties and using them to find unknown angles. So complete the um, sheet, the worksheet that I have scanned in. It's two pages. It is um, six problems. And please make sure as you do this that you show your work just like I've done here with you, that you work you know, from top to bottom, left to right, across so that I can follow your work and see how you arrived at the answer. So that's your homework for tonight, and we will meet again.